All right, so we have made it to El Dorado, Kansas. This is El Dorado State Park. And uh, just gonna give you a little look around. This is a, just a big circle. So hang on just a second. All right, this is the entrance. And then you come in and you drive around all the way back around and then back in here this is our site it has a fire pit picnic table grill a fish cleaning table and something to hold the trash up expecting rain tomorrow and this looks like drainage i know there's critters we saw a otter under this tree and that otter was going over here at these dumpsters to get something to eat. So I think Von Seal tried to get a picture of that. But we have made it safely here. Uh, Sadie in the door there. We've got a El Dorado Creek right behind us. through this mud so you can walk down there and watch you a line or two I don't know if you can really see it that good it's not bad kind of high not anticipating any flooding here so that's good And there's just not really in awe about this place. Yeah, about that. Looks like a dog bone. And this is where the lot is supposed to end, but you can't come back because of the tree limbs. So that's not very convenient. Looks like they've put down some fresh gravel and stuff. Which they are wide. I'll give them that. They're wide sites, just not that long. And we have the bathhouse right across from us. So as you can see, there's lots of area. Lots of area. And I first saw this when we were hooking up. You know, it has the water caps on there. That's what it says, water. And that's the sewage connection. So I was like, we're supposed to have full hookup, blah, blah, blah. And we looked around and other people are hooked into the same area. So pull that off and there it was, voila. Those sites on the outside over there or on the inside of the circle they don't have a view of the creek but i'm not sure if that's such a great thing i probably would have rather had one of these inside sites if we had known what that looked like you know but it's all right we're here for a couple of days and then we're gone on our way to i think it's called siebert kansas right before we go to Colorado. So, and the camp host is right here next to us. But that's it. Clouds are trying to give way to the sun, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's a huge tree right there. All right, just want to let y'all know we made it safely. It was a gorgeous and beautiful drive here. It just was too easy. We did have one little mishap, if you will. We made a little break at a picnic area and there was the fridge open and there was pickles, pickle jars, syrup all over the floor 
wasn't real happy about that, but these things happen. Don't know how they exactly the uh, fridge came open and unlocked, but it did. The park ranger passing by. So, here we are. It's, when we checked in, and I don't want to say anything bad, but when you got somebody checking into your state park, you would think that you would want to be inviting. Well, they were courteous, but it was just like, I felt like they didn't know squat because I was asking the best way and this, that, and the other. And of course they gave me wrong direction. So I went with my gut feeling and I'm glad we did because not only at the main office where you check in at, but also there's another gate here that you got to check in at and you got to pay $5 to park your vehicle after you've already paid for the site, which it's Kansas, I guess. So, we paid our $5, and I got the wrong directions up there, too. And they said, oh, you'll see your site. It'll be in there. Well, I hope so. If I'm in the campground. So, it's just like no one knew exactly. And I told them it was our first time here. We had no idea. But... That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of gnats here. Flies, gnats, but it is wet. And we are right here at the dumpsters. So, God is good. Oh, there's a goose. Canadian geese thing. Didn't even hear them. All right. For real this time. Y'all have a great one. God loves you. And we'll talk to you soon.